What's up, guys? Video on the Aqua Craft Mini Alligator Tours. Man, this thing looks nice. I should probably close this. This thing has a brushless. I think that is. I don't know what size motor that is. It's a brushless, or not? Uh, sorry, brushed. It has a brushed motor on the back. That's mounted on two uh, Allen screws with actually lock washers on them if you can see up in here I don't think you can but there's a lock washer and the motor mount is basically well here's like a support a motor mount support and then a motor mount bolts up under these this right here and it's right here and then there's two screws holding the brushed motor in and then under the seat, you got your battery, which I always tape on the small batteries. I always tape right here, keep the water up out of them. This comes with a 100 ma. Sorry for all the dirt on the battery. Wow, this battery is dirty. A one, um, 1100 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride battery at 7.2 volts, and it has a I forgot what kind of connector that it was. Uh, has one of these connectors. I think this is the older boat. Cause, or no, this is actually the newest one because it has a tac. It comes with a tactic TTX 300 and it's 2.4 gigahertz. And then you you have your. Let's move the boat out for a second. You have your. See, so you got your drive. Steering and DR. Basically, you have all your trims. You have your throttle trim, your steering trim, and um, your turning. And on this side, you have your on and off button, your throttle normal and reverse, and then your steering normal and reverse on this video. And then inside, what this has for a little, it has a little ESC, a very little. This is the ESC right here. Right here. E a little a little ESC just velcroed up in here. Like that. It has a let me move these wires around. It has a mini, a very, very it has a mini or a micro servo from I think Hobby Co. Yeah, Hobbyco. That is from Hobbyco. So, a plastic steering horn. And then, uh, it's a little survey. Take them out. And how the boat turns, as you see, there's no rudder on the back of it. The servo actually turns these right here, which direct the air. That's pretty cool. And then, if we flip it over. It has a flat bottom, so it doesn't get stuck on weeds or stuff like that. It has these right here to keep it stable and straight in the water, so you're not battling it. Now, I've actually I've glued these on because uh, the other side came off, so I took a little bit of super glue, pulled these off, and super glued them on. And I might I might re-super glue these magnets right here because I think they're starting to come off. Or this one, I think, was just put set wrong. And this is the motor cover. You stick the antenna through here. It comes up right here. And then all you gotta do is put this on. Because after you put everything in there, is there's two hooks like this. So you slide it in. And right there. Bam. And these are all, these don't work. These are decals, as you can probably see. Decals. The decals on this thing. Nice, nice. Little mini alligator tours right here with the, another decal sticker. Uh, the boat weighs roughly about probably a pound and a half. Not even. About a pound. It's actually pretty fast, to be honest, for a little boat like this. It's pretty fast. I like it a lot. It's uh, something that you don't have to have a big pond for. You can have a swimming pool. You can actually 
you can put this boat in the swimming pool and it you can go full speed you can turn this thing turns on a dime yeah turns on a dime tell me about it the mini alligator tours so here's in size that's my hand so it's a I think it's either a 1 16th scale or a 1 I think it's a 1 16th scale because I don't think it's a 1 12th scale so thank you for uh, watching this video like and subscribe and if uh, maybe that like button will turn gold I highly doubt it but maybe it will and my new channels always have the rough start but once they get going they get going so, see you in the next video, Autocraft.